All right, everybody. New month, new workouts. Mondays. Mondays. First Monday of 2022. Right. If if you're watching this and you're like, no, it's not, and you missed the first Monday of 2022, shame on you. <laughs> shame. Shame. Do not miss the first Monday of the year. Right. I mean, it's like, that's, that's, that's sacred. Crucial. Yeah. That's a, that's a sacred day in fitness. 100%. So, um, full length strength workout. We've gotten lots, actually, since introducing last month those shorter workouts. We've gotten a lot of people that really like that 20, 25 minute, whether it's strength, whether it's cardio, because there's really no excuse not to get that one done. There's no, you, you can find 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, but this is going to be one of our full length strength workouts. We do need a few things. You need your weight. Whatever weight you use, we're going to need that weight. We're going to need a slider. Now this could be um, a furniture mover. That's what these are. They're just fancy. It could be a paper plate. Mm -hmm. um, something like that. If you're on you know, hardwood or tile, you can just use your sock or you could use a um, towel, something like that. Or something. Yeah. And then for one of our movements, you will need your band as well, your super band. Mm -hmm. And then we have some modifications for that. If it's too heavy or too much resistance or not enough resistance, we can play with that. So. Yeah. You ready, coach? Ready. Let's get this started. Jump jacks, seal claps, crisscrosses. Ten of each of those. Ready? And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Arms out in front, open the chest up nice and wide, ready to begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Arms wide, feet wide, crisscross in the middle, ready to begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now last month we did the Turkish get up. Mm. We're gonna do, mm, mm. that's all, that's all <laughs> the guy just a, a noise from over here. <laughs> mm. Turkish get up. We are going to do a variation of the Turkish get up. Remember there's seven steps up, seven steps down in the Turkish get up. What we're gonna do, and if you want to use a weight, you may use a weight. I would go light, especially if this is the first time that you're doing it. We're going to do the top part of the get up, but it's only really quarter. I think it's three moves. So from this position, whatever arm is up by your ear, you step back with the other leg. We turn the foot sideways. We hinge down. We bring it back up, turn the foot and stand back up. That could also be just body weight. If you're new to this and you go, wait a second, you said something Turkish, you go, what, what up? Then do it unweighted. The arm is still up, it's the exact same thing. Lunge back, turn the foot, hinge down, bring it back up, turn, and stand. And we're gonna do that for 30 seconds one side. We'll switch to 30 seconds on the other side. And the last one is a plank variation. Where? We're going to be in the plank position. We'll grab a hold of the weight and we lift it one centimeter off the floor. That's it. It should hover. It's just you're actually what you're doing is you're pulling yourself down to the ground. And that's what really takes that core, that anti-rotation. Yeah. Which could also be done body weight also. If we're just working on our plank skills. We're just working on our plank here or one-handed. Good. I'm good with all of that. Yep. You ready? I'm ready. Let me get my stopwatch. It's over here. Stopwatch. All right. So we're doing 30 seconds. My recommendation, start in that non-dominant side. All right. Ready? And begin. So we lunge back with the opposite leg. Turn. Hinge. That's key. And stand. And so we're warming up our shoulders. Yeah, a lot of core going on. Mm -hmm. We're warming up our hips. Some 
Stability Ugh. work in there. Lots of stability here. And time. Oh, that went fast. Well, 30 seconds. Okay. You got legs going on in there? It's Monday, so it must be just full of energy. I'll tell you. I don't even want to ask how many cups of coffee you have. <laughs> Ready? And begin. Step back with the opposite leg. That's key. It's not for speed. This is for precision. That knee should go down in the same place each time. And time. Woo, all right. Plank hold. So some people, if, if they have a super lightweight, Right, they're doing a super lightweight for this and they can't change their weights. You can holster that thing right up by your ribs. A little heavier, I don't want to come all the way up because it's just too much weight. I want to hover it a centimeter off the ground. All right, coach, you ready? Are you I do? am ready. Left hand first? Yes. All right. Ready and begin. That's a 30 second plank hold. Okay, no talking. Everyone, this looks very tough. I literally have to relax in order to talk. If you can talk while doing this, you're doing it incorrectly. <sighs> Everything should be shaking. <sighs> Five more seconds. And time. All right, 30 seconds rest. Now, if you did not find that challenging, I'm gonna tell you, here's what you are <laughs> so doing. You would say that. Let me show you the difference, here's why. If you're here, that's nothing. What I did was one hip is above the other hip. And I'm actually leveraging my structure versus my muscle. Okay? So those hips need to stay square in order for that to work. All right, let's go back to that Turkish get up. Okay. All right. Ready? And. Begin. Step back opposite foot. Turn. Hinge. Up. Turn. And stand. Make sure that arm is to the ceiling the entire time. If it gets away from you, that's not a good thing. And time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't uh-oh, you shouldn't uh-oh with <laughs> a thousand pounds above your face. I was in the middle. All right, we're going in three, two, one, begin. Reverse lunge. Turn the foot. Hinge. Up. And stand. <sighs> oh. And time. All right. This one, again, not much talking going on in this one. No, lots of focus. I'm just trying to breathe. <laughs> trying to focus on that breath work. It's not easy. All right, ready and begin. Get that good plank set up first, then pull. The feet should be spread wide. Yes. Well, they would realize it. Yeah. <laughs> Since you try this, feet are narrow, you're falling over. Yeah. Ten more seconds. Things should be shaking. Oh my goodness, time. Ooh. Oh. Okay. All right. Great time to get a drink. Okay, what we have now is a flat floor press. If you have a pillow or something that you want to elevate yourself, one of those cool little BOSU sports, maybe you got some extra fitness stuff over the holidays. Yeah. 
Great. Um, I'm going to give you some options. One, flat floor press. Here, I'm going to activate my core. I'm going to push it straight down into the floor so I have leverage. I press straight up and I bring it back down. Now, the last few months we've been doing some half to full reps and playing with some stuff. Basic. We're going straight after it. So, if you got some heavier, I think Santa's sleigh weighed a lot this year. <laughs> People were upping their, their workout. So, if you got some heavier weights, try it. If you got two weights and you want to do that, we're going to alternate those. Make sure they're the same weight. They're like, I got a 16 and a 12 kilo, and that doesn't work. You can alternate your weights here, okay? Obviously, you gotta give yourself the proper rest as well. Are you gonna use your booster, or are you just gonna go straight from the floor? I'll use the booster, why not? Okay, why not? I don't know, why not? Wrap me, um, are you gonna use the 20? No. Okay, can I use the 20? Like 12. All right, do you want to show them the um, double, the double uh, press? Or I can show them. Yeah, if you got one of those big boy weights, or big girl weights, <laughs> <laughs> look at me here, big girl weights, I know girls have those more than me. Two hands. Two hands, straight up. One hand under either. Straight down. Okay, we're going to go for four minutes, ladies and gentlemen, four minutes on these full length strength. Y'all set up, coach. I'm ready. Go make sure those hips are up. Don't be in any time. Three, two, one. Begin. All right. Let's get strong this month. New year. New you. I hate that saying. <laughs> and one day you become new. <sighs> Just like your birthday. <sighs> Make sure you're passing that weight safely. I like to pull it right underneath my feet, or you can go around your head, the top of your. That's what I gotta do. Not over your face. Yeah, protect those vitals face, throat, and heart. Don't push weight over those. And then once you've done a set, take a little rest. Unless you're going like completely like single arm, maybe you don't need much rest. Get that away from me. I'm just saying. That's too heavy. I thought, you were, I thought this was the new you. Yeah, the well, I got a set you. in. Hey, you're going to want that back for your deadlift, so. I'll keep it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, I did one set with it. That's good and for me. Did we say six to eight? Six to eight on each side. I don't remember if we said that. Six to eight on we each were just side. We're so excited with giving all the variations. Yeah, right? Where is my, there's my miser. There it is. Gotta keep that, gotta keep that my zone on. Keep me in track. I know some people got my zone belts for, for Christmas. If you got a mind zone belt, look us up. Connect with Coach Amy and myself. Oh, yeah. Hold us accountable. I love looking at all the different workouts. <sighs> oh, yeah. Jimmy, he's working out. He's getting his workouts in. Kathy. Jimmy, who do you know? Melissa. Big Jimmy. I'm just throwing out names. You don't know any Jimmy's. <sighs> I don't. Oh, goodness gracious. Woo! Make sure you exhale as you press. That is a good time to blow out the air, keep your core activated. The only Jimmy you know has the last name of Cone. <laughs> That's 
<laughs> my kid's favorite. That's not the Jimmy you know. Favorite ice cream spot. All right, we're getting down to it. So I'm going into my third set, probably my last one. Yeah, 50 seconds left. You might only get three on each side, four on each side. You might not get the full, but you want to be balanced. You want to be even. That's a better word. I don't think they can be balanced. <sighs> oh, I think they can be balanced. It's just not the adjective I wanted. There's something about the floor press. I don't do it often and I don't get the same range of motion as a dumbbell with a bench or something like that. But man, it is, it works. <laughs> it does the job. It does the job. Okay, so the next one is going to be a forward lunge. And we have some options for that, right? So obviously the forward lunge, drive forward, back, other side back. If you're new to the forward lunge, do that. Just body weight. Then you can always add a weight up here. This is our goblet hold. And if you are good at the forward lunge, we're going to do a max lunge. And that is going to cross the body and drive it back. And this one I would do all six on one side, six on the other side. I think rote alternating these doesn't work as well with the forward lunge. All right, coach, you got to find that weight. Here we go, six to eight on one side. The key in this one is the drive back. Let me reset, try to do this without talking. Yeah. It's that push back that you want. A lot of people will come up and then back. That's not what we're looking for. So, what people don't understand is in that warm up or 1A, 1B, we call it a warm up. I don't like calling it a warm up because we're working. When we do that hold, yeah. that's really focusing on that core. Doesn't seem like that's really what we're doing. Most people think core is just crunches. But then we went to a single arm press and now we're doing this rotation. If your core is not warmed up, you're going to be all over the place. sweatshirt so I'm officially you were officially up. warmed up <laughs> eight hours into the workout <laughs> it's amazing my kids could ever tell time Why? I exaggerate a little bit <laughs> oh. Oh. Whew. remember it's strength this is not cardio it should be pretty and on challenging to move that weight. You're gonna want to rest after those. If you don't need a rest, go up and wait. If you're like, I did one side, then the other side, and now I'm right going back right to the go up and wait. Yeah, my heart is like... Mars. Pounding. Time to give it just a moment. One thing we see too in these, especially the max lunges, if you're bringing that weight across the body, we'll see kind of a lot of this pitching forward and then kind of hefting it back. Make sure that you're still keeping those shoulders over the hips and that way you're using your legs, your core. You gotta really so that bend that back forward. leg. Yep. That's where I think the laziness gets us. I'm not bending my back leg. When I bend my back leg, my shoulders have to stay over those hips. Yeah, so that's one, one key feature of the, the lunge. Good tip, coach. <laughs> 
I try. Legs are burning. <laughs> My core is actually really pushing hard. I touch my knee down. You do not have to do that, especially depending on the surface you're on. Maybe that's why I'm not sinking as low. Yeah, I just a little, a little touch and go, a little touch and go. Oh, it's only 18 seconds. All right, I'm oh, done. Oh, we're getting close to that. I'm done. Yeah. Spent. Get on each. You do not have to go all the way through the whistle. If you want to, you can. Not only did she go all the way through the whistle, she used the same weight as me. <laughs> How embarrassing, Coach Corey. All right. Ooh. Remember, fitness is all about you versus you. Even if you are working out with Wonder Woman. <laughs> all right, here's what we got. So we're gonna do a hold and a row. So what does that look like? One arm is holding, one arm is rowing. We'll do six to eight, then switch, hold, and row the other side. Now, one way of doing it is just a big loop. The other way of doing it, if you need a little bit more resistance, same band, I'm just doubling it up. Yeah, some of you may not have the, the super band um, set up. Maybe you just have like loose ends, then in which case you might have to wrap around your feet a couple times to get that tension. So play with the tension first. Yes. And then figure out what feels right. All right, so I'm gonna start with If you hands. don't have super bands, you could do this with, if you had two dumbbells, like a bent over row, you wouldn't, mm -hmm. certainly wouldn't be sitting on your butt. No. Try to keep sitting up straight. As you start to fatigue, you're gonna lean back. We don't want that. And what muscles should we be feeling, Coach? Right in the back. In the back. If you're starting to feel it here in the arms, it's because you're kind of doing one of these motions versus pulling that elbow straight back. Okay, don't curl it. Pull that elbow straight back. Your hand should be right back here next to right these. The ribs. What is this? This is called... Um, the serratus? Love handles. Oh. That's back by my love handles. That was a, that's an anatomical term. That, is that what it is? <laughs> you, don't, you don't see that in trainer school? No. <laughs> that's your serratus anterior. <laughs> Why do you make it sound so nerdy? <laughs> Nerd. All right. Pull one back, hold, and we're going to row that other side. Six to eight on one side, six to eight on the other side. And if you can think about pulling through the elbow, I think that yeah. really helps get the back muscles activated. Yeah, try to touch your elbow to the wall behind you. Oh my goodness. If you start to feel kind of the, you know, around your upper shoulders and around your, your neck, you might be kind of hunching up those shoulders. So let them relax a little bit. That's what bit. I was doing. As I start to lean back a little bit, I'm feeling myself do this. It's, yeah. So I got to keep up and drive that elbow down. I have to remember that one. <sighs> I know. This is where my mind zone lies to me and says, you don't do any work. <laughs> I'm sitting down, my zone. <laughs> yeah, but I'm working. You can typically get a lot of volume in with four minutes of this work. So oh, yeah. you need to take a little extra rest in between those. Shake it out. Go for it. What I like about the band also, some people don't like it for this reason, but I love it, is each time 
you grab a hold, it's a little different. Yeah. It might only be a half a pound, but when you do that all month long, mm -hmm. it really adds up, makes it very dynamic. Oh, tempo. I know it's kind of tempting. You're like holding all of the other side. You think, oh, I gotta hurry up and finish. And make sure you keep an eye on the banded, or the, the both banded, the hand that's back by your ribs. Know, that one starts to release. That one starts to release a little bit. That's the one that needs the most focus. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna tie them to my pickup truck and just they drive a little bit. They have not lightened up much over the last couple years. Almost, yeah, two years. Two years. Yeah. Oh, we're down to the last few seconds. I do not have time for another set. <laughs> Maximize right. that time. All right. Woo! The next one. Slider if you have them. I'll show you an option if you don't have it. So it's going to be a slider deadlift. So I'll demonstrate on this side. If you're new to it with the kettlebell, we'll use both hands on the kettlebell. If you're good or you have lighter weights, single arm is going to be on the same side of the leg that's sliding back. Now, if you don't have the slider, here's what you're going to do. Step back, but there's no weight in that back foot and step up nice and tall. Six to eight on one side, six to eight on the other side. Focus on really flat back, not a round back. You have to feel it because you often can't see it. I don't want this, I want this. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Six to eight one, six to eight on the other. Let's get working, coach. Let's do it. And you should feel this in the back of that hamstring. And in that glute, as soon as you start feeling the lower back, it's time to stop. If you feel in the low back, what should you do? Well, if you're doing one hand, go ahead and immediately grab it with the other hand. If you're doing the slider, maybe just go to the step back version of it. Or you can always just do two legs. Just practice that hinge pattern. Mm -hmm. Are you doing eight? Yeah. <sighs> Woo. This one is not getting your heart rate going. No. If? I said, if it's not, uh Oh. you want to go up and wait. I said, it's not? I want to hear from that person. What are you talking about? I'm going to grab this other bell over here. Good for you. You know? I got, step it up in 2022. I got some holiday indulgence to <laughs> work off. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I'm just... You are, just, you are stepping it up. I'm, I'm just saying. You like step aside. I'm taking the heavyweights. For Christmas, there was four of us, and my mom bought two Costco pies. Two. Four people. I would have given me the sweet sweats. Two giant Costco pies. I would have been sweating that out. <sighs> oh my gosh, what are we going to do with all this sugar? Will you take pie home with you? No. <laughs> <sighs> yep, I had to throw all my stuff into the freezer. <sighs> Give myself a couple days to enjoy it and then... Out of sight, out of mind. Goodbye. Remember, that slider leg or the step back leg has no weight in it. All your weight's in that front plant foot. Oh my goodness. 
Sorry, this side hurts. Whew. I like this one, Coach. Well, you know, I might not like it on Wednesday, but... Yeah. I heart deadlifts. Whew. Forget what we're doing on Wednesday, but... Hopefully it's not too... Hammy. It's probably like... Creep. It's probably like slider leg curls or something. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Watch your mouth. <laughs> Something light. Something light, right? It's only 10 seconds, coach. Oh, I better switch up. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm just hanging out here having fun. Oh, jeez. I can't end on that one. Oh. All right. Woo! I'll let you set that. Thank you. Heavy one down first. All right. Oh, good morning. Let's get some water. Yeah. Time for a break. Okay. Hydration break. Little power finisher coming up. This first one has power, so it has that acceleration, but it really has a lot of deceleration. That's what I want you to focus on most on this one. Throwing on those brakes. So here's what you're gonna do. We've done this one before where we've just come down into a athletic stance. Think of a medicine ball slam, right? So we're gonna come down, jump. Down, jump. Okay, so it's all about throwing on the brakes. We're gonna do that for 40 seconds. We'll rest for 20. Then we'll go for 20 seconds, plank, side to side hops, or stepping to the side. And then we'll rest for 40 seconds. So we're gonna work for 40, rest for 20, work for 20, rest for 40. Mm. 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 Do that twice. Well, we'll do the jump. We'll do the jump part for three times, and the core part for two times. Okay. Oh, right. I think that's. Is that what it is? It says three. Yeah. So two and a half, actually. Two point five. Two point five. All right. Forty seconds. Don't jump on the weights. I'm gonna. I'm gonna move these weights. I'm gonna move these weights. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna go sideways. I will too. So it's down, jump, stick, and it's going to be down, jump, stick, the other. <laughs> I know this is going to throw me off. <laughs> Watch him. I'm going, to, I'm going to take this first round to like figure it out. To figure it out. Let your brain <laughs> and body, they're all, they're all at home going. You know what? They're all like, yes, we're with Amy. Right, they're all like, thank we God. We are also figuring it out. <laughs> thank God, Amy. Amy's there. <laughs> All right, she is human, see? See? <laughs> Everybody's like, she's a machine. All right, ready? Here we go. And down. Then jump and stick. Then it's down. Jump and stick. Down. Jump and stick. Down. Jump and stick. Down. Jump and stick. Twenty seconds of rest. Ten more seconds of rest. Plank, side to side hops, or stepping to the side. Right. So the stepping is just one foot. Correct. Ready and go. Heavy in the hands, so you can be really light in your feet. Now we 
rest for 40. Okay. We'll do that again. Okay. Good. Now, one of the things as you're doing this at home, each time, make sure that you're going down, then bound. Okay? Don't just go into the bound. It's down, then bound. I should be watching my clock. Ten seconds. So we got. This is a long four. That's all right. We just want to get it over with. All right, we're going to three, two, one, and down, 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 Twenty more seconds. Time. I came down and accidentally hit my leg with the stopwatch. I thought I stopped time, but oh, thank goodness I didn't. Would be uh, 10 seconds. That would be unfortunate. Ay, 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 ay. We might just have to skip the whole rest of it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Heaven forbid. Ready and here we go. Hop, hop, or step to the side. Got a pair for Christmas. Coach Kim knew that uh, Came Coach through. Corey was going to be super jealous if he didn't get his own pair. I was whining a little bit. <laughs> Squeaky wheel gets the grease. <laughs> Woo! And we got one more of the jumps, not of the planks. Okay. We've done a lot of core. A lot. A lot of core. How are you guys feeling out there? Are you feeling that core, that canister Height. that keeps you all? Upright. So I want to start re referring it to as a canister. It's a canister. It's going to be. There's a lot of good stuff in a it. Canister. <laughs> Ready and down and jump. Down and bound. Down. 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 All about the brakes. Monday, first of the year, setting the tone. Setting the tone. See, these are good for just to lean up against. <laughs> these are nice. That's how we kept them on your side there. You even have a pole, a wood stick back there. There's the old side over here. This is, <laughs> this is the geriatric. The foam rollers over there. The geriatric side. That's the young kids, kids section over there. Heavy weights, yeah. med balls, Bosu. Oh, yes. Not me. I got a stopwatch, Some a blocks. stick, a pacemaker. <laughs> we got the AED over here just in case. All right, coach, let's stretch this out. So, get some of those quads if you're speaking of yoga blocks. Yeah. If you have. Some yoga block to make this one a little bit easier. We just put our hands back behind us. We're gonna stretch out those quads by right? And if you have your shoes too, you can sometimes put your hands back on my shoe. I have a hard time doing 
not as a demo, but you gotta really stretch. It's because your legs are so long, it's hard for your arms to reach. Right. Long Back legs. to your hashtag long leg problems. Yeah, let's come down into child's pose. Oh yeah, this was needed today. All right, let's go up hands and knees, and let's arch that back up as high as we can go. And drop your belly button down to the floor. And let's put one hand into the lower part of our back palm facing the ceiling. And we're going to rotate the elbow up. And you're going to look straight over that shoulder. And down. Let's switch sides. Keep breathing. Oh yeah, I know I forgot something. Exhaling is great here. Both hands down. Try to keep your feet kind of where they are and you're gonna lift your hips up and slide back. If you can get your heels on the ground, that's gonna give you a little extra calf stretch. And then let's come into our Cobra. And let's bring one leg up. And got that heel kind of underneath that opposite hip. Some people, they see this and they're like, I can't get down there. So if you have to be up here, yep. that's fine too. As you get better with this, you can come down into the floor. And let's switch sides. It's gonna be a tricky one if your hips are not Ready to get into that position. Yeah, something to work on. Yes. And let's bring the soles of their those feet together. Mm -hmm. So nice and tall. Little butterfly. Nice relaxing exhale. Mm-hmm. I need it. This is a good one. It was a good one. I don't remember sweating this much when I was practicing it. But... <laughs> All right. Good for a Monday. Kind of easing into it. Great job, coach. High five to everybody yeah, out there. Out. For those of you that are new with us, welcome. Um, we love reading your comments. So if you liked it, if you have any comments about the workout, drop it in the comments below. Like us, tell your friends about us, all that good stuff. Remember, January, kicking it off. It is the first month of 2022. Make it happen. Lots of twos in that number. Two, 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 two. Make it happen. Yeah. January, consistency, put it on the calendar. That's probably the biggest thing is just schedule. Schedule it out. And have your backup plan, right? Yeah. Like if, you know... Monday doesn't happen. What's your plan to get it in at a later point in the week? Monday happens. I know. I know. But just, just in case. <laughs> just in case. Everybody, thank you very much for joining us. And we will see you uh, tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, for your next workout. Yeah, let's do it. Awesome job. Thank you.